Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a message for light workers today. It has to do with light quotient and light quotient delta. That's the difference between one person's light bearing capacity and another person's light bearing capacity. Uh, as light workers, because their central vertical power current, current is mm, clearer and more capable of carrying heavy loads of light energy than, um, than our other people's. Um, we often run into the problem of light quotient delta uh, between ourselves and whatever group of people that we're in. The difficulty with light quotient delta is that um, it increases the, the, the noospheric chaos and the ionospheric chaos and can lead to greater probability of uh, chaotic events in our personal sphere of influence. And so it's good to avoid large um, light quotient delta amongst uh, the, the groups of people that we find ourselves in and us. And so um, my suggestion is imagine that you're downtown in the downtown area uh, at night on a Friday night or a Saturday night in a poor area where there are lots of homeless people sitting on the streets and like that, right? And uh, so what would you do in that instance? Say, say you're walking alone there, right? What you want to do is to fit in as well as you can with the people that are there so it's not to stand out too much and not to create the possibility of chaos in your personal newosphere that evening, right? So one thing to do would be to dress down to the level of the people that are there on the street. And another thing to do would be not to drive a fancy car over there, for instance, if you had a fancy car. And, and yet another thing to do would not be to talk down to them or be mean to them or, or display a lot of cash in a wallet or anything of that nature. You'd want to fit in, right? And that's exactly what we light workers need to do when we move from a high energy congregation or group of people to another group of people that have mixed or uh, lower light quotient. We need to ratchet down our light, okay? And that is a skill that, that we can all practice through um, uh, affirmations. We can affirm with our Ascension team that we wish our light to be similar in uh, in brightness to that of the group of people that we're around, and we can explain that so that we can continue our mission on our, on Earth through not having our uh, a danger to our physical form. Okay, and then our team will help us to match the light of the area that we're in. Um, not to worry about this as light workers, we like a lot of light, but we can add and subtract light anytime we want to fit in with the right circumstances where we are on physical earth. So, so just to let you all know, that's all we have to do. It's good to be aware of it and to know that if we're carrying a very great light, load of light, say during an X flare or something like that, probably the best thing to do is to to sit and meditate in a quiet place without too many people around unless those are also people who are light workers. All right, you guys, take care in this turning from the solar minimum back towards the solar maximum, the time of great hope and looking forward to the future.